All right, so let's have a look at radioisotopes in industry, and in particular, sodium-24. Um, so once again, we're not talking about transuranic elements. We're talking about uh, radioactive isotopes, just heavy isotopes. Now, one thing you should be able to guess by now is that because they're not uh, transuranic, they're most likely not alpha emitters. They're most likely beta positive, beta negative. All right, so we're going to look at sodium-24, which is an industrial radioisotope. And what we can see down here is that it decays via beta decay to magnesium-24. Um, so we can write that there if you want. We can go magnesium-24. Now, the radiation produced is beta radiation and gamma. Now, it's actually the gamma radiation here which is most useful. Um, basically, it's produced through the neutron bombardment of sodium. Okay, so sodium is placed in the nuclear reactor. It hits neutrons, becomes unstable, and becomes sodium-24. Now, the usage that we're going to focus on is the detection of leaks in pipes. So that sounds interesting. How would they do that? Well, you dissolve it into a liquid in the pipe. Then you can dissolve it into either oils or water. Um, if the pipe is intact, there'll be no detected radiation. So no radiation will be around it on the outside of the pipe. However, if it leaks into the soil in pipes, this means we know that there's a leak. Okay, the water or the oil is leaving the pipe and entering the, um, the environment around it. So we've detected a leak. Now, the suitability of the half-life, this is really important. Now, the half-life is about 14.9 hours. By the way, what this means is, if you start up here with... 10 grams after 15 hours you will have 5 grams after 30 hours you'll have 2.5 grams and after um, that, 45 hours you'll have 1.25 grams and so forth all the way so yeah so forth all the way down now basically the half-life is actually quite short so because it's quite short what that means it's going to do is it's going to decay from a sodium into a magnesium isotope, which is stable. Magnesium isotopes uh, within, you know, well, starts, again, if we dissolve 10 grams, we're down to about uh, 1.25 grams in 45 hours. So it quickly becomes safe and able to be used again. And that's really important. All right.